in self-incrimination news. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> Submitted by I am the law. I am oh, the law. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Judge Dredd. <laughs> Who's Judge Dredd? Oh, Van Damme and Sylvester Stallone. You gotta watch all their movies. That's no, Robocop. I am the law! He has uh, sex with Sandra Bullock in that movie without physically touching her. Remember? Huh? He does? They, they Robo have like the, 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 the Judge Dredd. Yeah, Judge Dredd. Wait, is that a, the no, name Robo of the movie? Judge Dredd is the name of the movie. Starring oh. Sylvester Stallone yeah. and Sandra like, Bullock. Confused. You don't know Judge Dredd? Never heard of that. He's in the red suit. Uh, Idiot thieves were immediately arrested after butt dialing. 911. Oh, tight. Ooh. How? Oh, I can see how. I bet they were talking about the crime too. Mm -hmm. No, but here's the thing. They had to butt dial 911. So that means their ass cheek Are individually they, punched into three digits? No, or someone had already. No, there's an emergency. Yeah, I think you can like oh, press the it. And then it like, no, don't you have you to do have like to 10 it. times or something like that? Maybe. Oh. No, you have to press and hold it. Or at least for the it's Apple It's a slide, watch. right? It's a slide. For the Apple Watch, you press and hold it. I think it's the same with that one. I think he has to fuck up his own ass cheeks for being a little snitch. Mm hmm. His ass Lied. ratted. Damn. He's like, you are so Talk bad. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> Tattletail, yeah. tattletail. Ooh, now I'm wondering what the crime was. Don't make me catch you with your pants off, homie. What was the crime? What was it? What was the same? Yeah, what did he do? Yeah. That's so, All right, so funny. A pair of burglars Ooh. of balls. They were so they butt dialed 911 while they were fleeing the scene of a burglary at a Best Buy near Houston at around 3 a.m. Houston in Sugarland, Texas. That sounds sweet. I know, I would love to live there. Sugarland, I'm there. It's probably hot as fuck. All the houses humid. are made out of candy. Ooh, perfect. Sugarland, humid. Texas. <laughs> it's melting. Humid sugar. It's melting. Yeah, so <coughs> they did make off with very, like a lot of valuable merchandise. Um, so the cops were responding to the alarm at Best Buy, and around that same time is when they got this butt dial 911 thing. And then that's when they pinged the cell phone to find out like where it came from. And it was near that area. So they were quickly arrested. You got caught. They should also arrest all the employees at Best Buy because they are crooks. <laughs> 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 you should be a cl class action lawsuit <laughs> against Best Buy. Every time I go to Best Buy, it reminds me why I don't go to Best Buy. Yeah. Tell me what well, are I, I have so many problems with electronics. One more fucking employee at Best Buy says, I don't know to me. I'm yeah. gonna fucking kill somebody. You ask them a question what knowing that you don't want to ask them the question, but you gotta know anyway, and then they don't know, and I'm like, oh, fuck. This is what I, I hate ask. about Best Buy. I'm looking at something, right? The employee approaches me and they go, do you need any help? I go, yes, what's this? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> they walk away. I'm like, what the fuck did you ask me for then? Get the fuck out of here, dude. My favorite this. is when they have a long conversation while there's a big long line and then no one goes up to the register and opens up like yeah. another one. It's still one register It's because they took away their commission or they never had it, so there's no yeah. incentive for the there's workers. No you gotta yeah. find that one employee that knows everything about all the departments for some reason. He's over-enthusiastic. There's always that one guy. Well, I think the incentive should be they lose their job or keep their job. Well, it's just like... like some management but they don't really don't fired. know... It. Like, I'll go in the electronics yeah, department, I'm like, oh, uh, I'm looking for the hero, the GoPro Hero 7. Does that battery work with the Hero 5? And like, uh, if it says it in a box, get, yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me get back to you. Oh, that's all they do, yeah. And I'm like, isn't this your department? What the fuck, you know? If you go into like the, now they have the Magnolia TV section, oh, yeah. like the What's home that? theater section. It's like for the, all the high end, like high end screens and sound systems and all that. Stuff. Those guys know a little bit more. Yeah. But the problem with them is they, they just try to upsell the shit out of you. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, you're in this section? You're going to buy a $20,000 TV? Cool. They also have, like, now, if it's, like, a very specific section, like, you're buying Samsung TVs, they'll have a Samsung rep there. Mm -hmm. So they're repping the company. They're not really there for Best Buy. You know? So it's, yeah. it's that's kind of dope. That is like, kind of dope. General camera shit or anything else that's not anything. in those They don't know anything, dude. It's the worst shopping experience ever. They don't have, there's no incentives. That's why I just go to PetSmart for my shopping experience. Pet it's Smart? awesome there. You just order everything He just goes online. and hangs out with dogs. Yeah. GoPro and <laughs> like, yeah. So this is a PetSmart. Say I miss Circuit City. Oh, Circuit City. Oh, remember the commercial when the fucking circuit went yeah. The guy that my dad bought the DVD player from, our first DVD player, and he got a surround sound system, that same salesman came to our house and hooked it up. And I was like, where's that guy? That's dumb. That oh yeah, because sales used to be a more 
not perceived. Like you knew. Like, you, like you, you were into it. Customer service thingy. Like I remember being like, this is strange. Because I remember Sears and shit like that. I would go there and Circuit then... City is now Tiger Direct. It's an online thing. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even know. Is they, Radio Shack they, still around? Yes. Yeah. Radio Shack is still around. That was like Hacker Central. Why? Because that's where hackers went to get like things and then they MacGyvered things. But do they still they like shut down like 90% of the store. I think a lot of them are gone, but there's still a few around. Wait, what are we talking about? Thieves uh, and Best Buy. Uh, the thieves, thieves at, at Best Buy. The thieves at Best Buy. Do we know what they stole? <laughs> what did they steal? That's an interesting place to oh, steal things. Not really, because they carry Apple and a bunch Oh, really? Of yeah. Best Buy, they are yeah. thieves. I haven't gone in a long yeah. time. Yeah, they have GoPros. They have like everything yeah, electronic. Oh, yeah. I wonder how they did it because they're like super secure. Like, did they go to the back? They had to break a door. Must so I don't know how job. they broke in, but I do know the aftermath, like once the officers were able to narrow it down, like what happened here, this turned into a high-speed car chase. Ooh. Oh no. That reached top speeds of 120 miles per That's hour. Really fast. And then eventually it ended after approximately 40 minutes. Damn. And See? then the thieves bailed from the vehicle and they didn't have a full tank of gas, huh? They were just running, running away, and then law enforcement- they Always rob on a full tank of gas. They used a helicopter and canine units, so they caught two of the three suspects. But the third, the third one, one is falling out! <laughs> the third one's got a wall of TV. This oh, whole yeah. time I was imagining a grab-and-go shoplift thing, and I'm like, wow, No, I told you it was shit. 3 a.m. I know, but like my brain just kind of yeah, kind we of thought about too. the stupid customer service, and I was thinking about guys walking in and grabbing something, and then like there's a high speed chase, Three versus like yeah they break in, and then they like take the inventory in they the back. I mean they probably would have gotten away if it wasn't for that butt dial. If it That's wasn't for crazy. those pesky yeah, kids, those... Scooby Doo. Reference. What if it was an inside job because they had to know where everything was at that hour? Well, how did get in? They did yeah. mention that back in in uh, 2015 that. Same Best Buy was robbed of over two hundred thousand dollars worth of me Whoa. merchandise. Shit! <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. That's a lot of money. That's a lot yeah. of iPhones, man. So maybe it is an inside job, and it's the same person mm. doing it. I don't know. I miss Toys R Us. That's where I miss, man. I Kids are missing out. I went to the that store was... right when they were closing, and everything's way more expensive than on Amazon. Amazon, even though they were closing, it was still expensive. I'm trying to recoup their costs. I could spend hours at Toys R Us. Yeah, my parents used to take me there just to play. Dude, yeah. It's not buying then, I know, it was I'm such a tease. It. They'd be like, go ahead, go play. Look at all the things I will never I, buy you. I used to get lost as a child all the time. So like my mom just taught me how to go up to the customer service and be like, hi, I'm Tash and I'm looking for Dr. Rajan. And my mom would never say Mrs. Rajan. Mm. And Smart. so like she would, just let me play in the, t the store for like two hours. But the Toys R Us were, where I grew up, they used to sell like bikes. So they have like the racks of bikes for kids and adults. And so I just ride the bike what? around the store smart? and no one would ever say anything. I feel like now, if a kid did that today, the kid would get clotheslined. And, oh, for sure, because I would be, be the like, one doing it. Where's your mom? Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah. There'd be a lawsuit and like. Oh, damn. I would jumping back straight kick that kid in the face. Oh my God, <laughs> but, that's yeah. funny. I would not. <laughs> If they were a little older, I would though. That's true. That was fun because I would like to like imagine play with all the toys, yeah. and I'd save it in my memory. Correct. And then sometimes my parents would let me buy the twenty-five cent thing at the very end at the register, and then yeah. I would get some of that, and I get the string that slaps things. I was so things. mad when all the other kids in the neighborhood had the dope super soaker, and I would just have the most basic one. That was me with Power Wheel. That was so cool, dude. I like the one where it was the Power backpack. Yeah. Those kids, they had the backpack one and they had unlimited water. The hydro tank? Yes. It's like connected to the hose. Yeah. But if you start running, that guy's yeah. the slowest kid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, 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 so yeah. Funny. yeah. And then you had water balloons that you just throw it in their fucking yeah. face. I had one super soaker where you can unload the entire chamber in one shot. Whoa. So like you had like the squirt, then it had a just like a handle. Oh, the bottom handle. Yeah, you pull, boom. Was it white and, and green and orange? It was white, blue. It was like gray, blue, yeah. and orange. Mm -hmm. And you, <laughs> these young bucks get the better shit. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. I, I was looking down, I was like, damn. Cause I mean, what, like five years apart? That's that's big. That's a lot. Cause the toys got better every fucking year, man. I feel like the generation right after me, it was when like, oh, they're like, oh, super soakers and toy guns. No they look, they're bad. like, they're too real. You gotta change oh, them. And then they became have, um, wacky. They yeah. still have super soakers. My generation is when they stopped putting guns in Toys R Us. Did they right still have Nerf me? guns? No, real, like uh, looking guns. 
before they oh, had. I thought you were just talking about like real guns. No, 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 no. Like they had like six shooters and like revolvers and stuff. Yeah, revolvers. And then you could put the caps. Yeah. And then oh, go. Yeah. Pow, 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 pow. yeah. yeah. They sell those at the liquor store. They always. Yeah, do that. but then they stopped doing it at 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 Toys R Us. We used to have cool shit like spears and fucking bow and arrows and cap all that guns, stuff. Dude. I love yeah. cap guns, man. I used to shoot them inside the house. I know. Oh, yeah. They're so loud. I could still remember the smell of them. Yep. When they would pop. You know, if you got a brick and you smashed it, it would still make the same noise? Why? Do, why? Did you guys used to have a Rambo knife? I feel like every yeah. kid had a Rambo yeah. knife. The one with the teeth on the side? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a machine gun that you put batteries in and it would actually recoil. What? Oh, wait, I think I had the and same And it was one. electronic. It was like brrrr, And I'd run around. Oh, I lived in a cul de sac. There was like five houses. And I just run around with that thing. You definitely couldn't have done that after 9 11, though. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. Dude, I had one where it was like. Like you hold it with two two hands like this, and it's like like that. No, and then you can put water in there. Yeah, it's like you couldn't do anything. At least I couldn't do anything after 9/11. All right, what were you saying? Yeah, what was your story? So we went to Disney World when I was in eighth grade for with my school for marching band. It's like the geekiest thing you could do. What'd you play? So I played the snare drum, but we went all time for snare too. I was in steel drum band. I don't know what that is. Like, you know, the, the steel oh, drums, like the Jamaican like the drum. island, yeah. So there's actually like multiple styles of steel drum. They have yeah. like the treble and the bass. Mm -hmm. And so the bass was just a big, it looked like an oil canister. Yeah. Anyways, we're coming back. And uh, so we're with the school. So there's like a hundred kids. And of course, I'm the only kid who's pulled out for oh, a random security check. And you have to understand oh. this. I'm like five feet tall. I have glasses, braces, pimples, oh. and they're like you. And I, I'll be like, why? I remember going, why? Yeah. And they were like, random security check. I was like, I'm with my fucking middle school, high school. <laughs> like, I'm I like, would have thought you were Mexican. Yeah, they were just like, who's this ugly Puerto Rican kid? I <laughs> know. <laughs> but no, post 9 11, now everyone's scared of me. That now, when I go through airport security, they're scared. No, really? Or they'll be like, no, what are you doing? He's like mildly famous, let him go. Yeah. <laughs> that happened, that happened last time. I flew back to home, New York. <laughs>